Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. It's another episode, and in this episode I want to be providing food to this lovely town. This is Ankara. And uh, I'm zoomed in on restaurants and total shops and markets. But there is one thing that these guys are missing. Food. This town does not have food. And the town is growing very rapidly. It started out at about, I think, 350, sorry, 200. I was going to say 350, but it started at 200, and then it almost vertically spiked all the way into the 400s. Because thanks to the connection that now exists between Ankara and Quezon City, the people from Ankara can now also access other parts of the world. Now, the road connection or the train connection is not entirely finished, because I still want to set up a line from Ankara to Shanyang. Which sort of completes the loop from Shenyang, Shenai, Novosibirsk, Jeddah, Quezon City, and Ankara again. And uh, it will make travel for Ankara people a hell of a lot easier if they want to go to Shenyang. Because right now, they're going to be uh, on the road for, well, at least months. Traveling one line, two line, <laughs> three line, four line, five line. They're going to be transporting or transitioning between five different lines, and that's not even counting the trams. So, uh, two things this episode, food for Ankara, and making sure that one of those train lines actually hooks up to Shenyang. Shenyang already has a couple of trains which are currently hitting terminals 1 and 3. So that's 1 and that's 3, that means that terminal 2 over here is still available. And that's the one that I'm going to be setting up now. <coughs> um, it's going to be a little bit of docking and weaving between all the farms. And there's also a town somewhere far there, that's Hyderabad, which I will tie into Ankara at some point. And of course, Kaohsiung is already connected, so I don't have to worry about that. So, lay on the tracks, and of course split these, because I imagine that this particular line is going to be seeing a lot of traffic. Especially with Ankara growing this fast, and let's see how big Shenyang is, also 478. These two are going to be probably seeing uh, passenger trains. I'd say two of them with a capacity of about 100 each. That is, each. Okay. Um, I need to transition or travel around Ankara at this point. Let's see. The terminals that I'm using right here are terminals uh, 1, period. Not terminal 2. So this one can connect here. And I can actually make that a pretty straight line. And hook the other line right into it. That is, if this road is feeling generous, which it really isn't. Now, I'm used to roads not exactly <laughs> being in a generous fashion. <clears throat> so we'll just have to redo that after the fact. Uh, make these able to traverse from one track to the next. No, not quite. Really? Maybe I started it a bit too soon when they weren't quite side by side. Let's try that again. At this point they're side by side, I'd say. So one there. And there it is, one there. Okay, good. Now, we're going to take this one over here. And that one's going to get tied into the track already coming off of there. Alright, so that should work. Let's just take this as a point because I'm already doing straight lines here. I really hope to be using one of those 300 kph trains at some point. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm going to have the straight tracks that those things do require. We'll just have to see how we can get along and maybe go between two larger cities on opposite sides of the map. Because they're not exactly stop trains. They're not exactly intercities, those things that can do 300. Or at least I wouldn't recommend using them as such because you're going to be giving up a lot of speed. Which you don't, well, you don't really need to do. Okay, signaling. Unfortunately, there is barely any work outside of setting up this track because the infrastructure already exists in the towns. So the trams are there. All I need to do is say that there is now a line starting here and going there. 
And, yep, using both sides of the track. <clears throat> Starting in Shangyang, ending in Ankara. Can I use the existing depot? Because I do have one somewhere. Uh, that's not it. Oh, I have one all the way over there. Hmm. <coughs> that's not really ideal. Where then? Here. The Kaohsiung train depot. Is that tied in? Yes, it would appear to be. Okay. Um, trains. We recently unlocked those China Type YZ22s. Which I am rather a fan of because they are very fast. Let's go with a Russian class SU. How fast do these things accelerate? Uh, 113 seconds. Yeah. <coughs> that is not very good. You know what? I am going to go with two locomotives. And then see if I can still keep that passenger rating as good. There we go. Now it switches to mediocre. 84 capacity. 15 million. And that was Shanyang to Ankara. Alright, so it should be departing. Our double engine train. There she is. And it might take these people some time to figure out that there is a connection, but not very long, apparently. As we already have the first three people. Okay, good. While that line is operational, I can now start focusing on how I'm going to get food to this place. They need 91. Uh, I have a train station, so I can ship stuff from the train station to here. And um, <clears throat> I might be able to ship grain back. But there is still the problem that I cannot transport grain in a food car and vice versa. There are no universal train cars. I already have a train, thank you. Um, cargo. On top of that, they're still... Oh, actually, no, they're, they're faster now. 120. So that means that I'll have to upgrade some of the other trains. Anyway, the boxcars, they can transport food. The gondolas, not so much. Considering how much grain I will probably need at this particular station, I'm thinking I might go with a cargo train starting here and going there. Just a very quick hop. Because if I want to do this with trucks, <coughs> well, that's going to be a lot of trucks, putting it mildly. That is going to be a lot of trucks. The roads are going to be clogged with those things. So let's not. Uh, this is going to get moderately expensive at 600,000. But so be it. And let's see if I can do this without overspending. Mm, too much slope, too much slope, too much slope. How unexpected. Can I do the same thing here? Yep. Oh, he's going way up into the hills. Yeah, this is going to cost me a lot of speed if I do it like this. Let's take it back just a few paces. And there it is. Now I'm up to speed. And yes, I am double tracking this. Reason being, I expect there to be running two large cargo trains on this particular track. Simply because I want to make this area the food production area for the west side of the map. That's the plan. Line. Uh, start here. Go there. This is the Ankara grain line. And I will need a train, which I can summon from Kaohsiung, I think. Yeah, it could go here, travel, 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 and over here. It's going to pass to the cargo station and then back. It is a bit of a circuitous route, though, putting it mildly. I might just tie in a tar uh, another depot. Just to make it a little easier. So there, and tie that in here. Okay, big cargo train. That means lots of power. 
It doesn't have to be particularly quick, it just has to have a lot of power. I think 2280 is the best that I can field. Everything else is pretty quick, but doesn't quite have the tractive effort. Let's see how much I can tack onto this one. Cargo. Uh, those are the gondolas. Still excellent power rating, still good power rating. Mediocre. Stop. 223 meters long. That is one long train. It's also going to cost me almost 24 million. Yeah. Uh, I want this one. Anchor a grain. I'm not exactly sure why I call it grain line. Because, I mean, it is a line and it's transporting grain. So that should be enough. Alright, the grain is being produced. The farm can put out 1600 at max. But right now I'm not transporting it anywhere. <clears throat> uh, that means that I will need to set up two lines. One transporting the food from the anchor station to the ant user, which I think is mostly in the middle of town. Yeah, give or take. So about here. That should cover most of the area. There. All right, starting over there and dropping it off over here. Very simple. Ankara food supply. Okay, we got that. Uh, what I did not have yet is a road depot. Just try and squeeze that in there. Mm, they need what? About 100. 110, actually. What can that transport? All cargo. Yeah, all cargo will work. Flat bats. This can transport 13. Um, I'd say 4, give or take. Anchor food supply. Now we're not done. There will need to be one more line starting here, going there. Uh oh. Could not connect all the stations. And why is that? Good sir. Why is that? Nope. Did I misdo part of the tracks? Did something not line up properly? Over here they are lined up properly. As far as I know that tunnel is connected. Yep. So, why can I not get there? This is a crossover point. These are the double slips that I set up previous. And then we have the cargo station over there. What is the problem? Oh, line one. Line one, where are you at? Here. Line one, add station. Nope. What am I not seeing? Is it using the wrong terminal? Nope. Um, okay. Let's dissect it. Can you get over here? Yes. Oh, sorry, that's a signal. It shouldn't be a signal, it should be a waypoint. Uh, remove that and instead set up a waypoint. Add. Yeah, so you can get there. That's not the problem. Where can you not go? Because this is a really straight line. Curious. Curious. What am I not seeing? I'm not getting any warnings. Track goes straight. How about the other way? Start at the cargo platform. So you can do that. And then it says, no, I cannot connect all the stations. I think something might be wrong here. This whole area looks a little 
weird. Can you do it now? Just delete that. Delete the whole line, actually. Line two. Line one. Nope, line one still doesn't like it. Ankara North, next station. Ankara Central. Could not connect all the stations. What am I missing? See, the whole thing exists. But... I don't see any interruptions. Any tracks that are missing. Here at the end of the tunnel looks fine. Aha. I suppose that doesn't help. And there we are. That was the missing link, apparently. Right, they're just using one side of the tracks now, uh, which is not what I want them to do. Did I already set up some signals? No. Signal there. Uh, signal here and there. Nope. Ah, yeah, right. That's because you cannot use the other track. There's no slip over point here. Uh, and it is going to be a little tight to try and squeeze that in. Oh, come on. Are you going to be like this now? Because from over here, you should be able to get to the other segment, but... Ah, that's the problem. That is something it cannot do. It's over here. There you go. Now he's blending in with the track on the right-hand side. Then he splits off. Then he goes here and lines up to that part of the train station. Good. This one is uh, sort of going in the other direction. Uh, no, that is... Uh-oh, I think I might have messed up the grain line now. And that's... Yeah, that's that part of the track. Construction, not possible. Watch me. Yep, there it is. And <laughs> now it's refusing to go back. <laughs> There's always something. Um, can I just not switch the terminals around? Might that be easier? Oh, now you want to do the fancy part, huh? Right, and now the other train is going, nope, I'm not going to the other side. Make me. Uh, sure. If it fits, that is, which I rather think it might not. This is turning into such, such a clusterfuck. There. That's better. <clears throat> uh, train lines, I want you to wait as you're approaching this station till the other train departs. This is a really unusual tunnel, by the way. What the hell happened? I mean, I happened. And all my uh, inexplicable train building. I wonder if I can build a tunnel around this. Maybe not. Can I... F no, that's flatten. No. This looks really weird, though. Alright, back to the drawing board. Whole mountains are getting deleted. But that's alright. Okay, start with the straight path. We're going there. No, no, here. Click. Then this one goes in the opposite direction and clashes with something else. 
which exactly is not known. What are you possibly clashing with? What is your problem now? There. Now it's no longer clashing. Okay. Uh, then we're going to try and get these things connected here. Of course, there's too much slope. Because there has to be something. Now, fair enough, they are at a slightly different level. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe one is just too low relative to the other one. Construction not possible. Slope, here you go. Holy shit, that's slowing down a lot. Yeah, I'll take that. And then the other way. I'm not exactly sure what that bit of track is doing there. And then here. And then we connect. All right. And now all I need to do is set up a simple cross over here and that should untangle the whole mess. Should. Not necessarily will. Check. Confirmed. All right. So that should, <laughs> should <laughs> fix all the lines. Should. Okay. Uh, we have our grain line. We have our food line. Uh, that it is, doesn't even know that it's a food line yet. Ankara food train. Manage vehicles. And yes, that's something I still need to do. I set up a vehicle. We had a depot stashed over here. This depot is going to be in charge of transporting food. Let's say about 72. I think that will do for now. And something I can do about 115 would be appreciated. That's mediocre power rating. Still mediocre. Don't make me buy one of those extremely expensive things, please. The game's going to make me buy one of those extremely expensive things for 13 million as opposed to 6 million. Or sorry, that's the 75 kilometer one. 8 million. Ankara food train. Okay, that's enough uh, food for thought. Let's see if this line is actually going to perform. This one is currently on its way. Doesn't quite know what to do yet because we're still building up a grain supply over here. Then it's going to try and get out of the station. Which it should be able to once the altar save is completed. Then the other train is not running interference at this point. But also does not have anything to pick up. And now there is a lot of grain being delivered. But this thing can transport 216 units. Farm, you're going to have to step up your game. Because this is not quite enough to keep this train profitable. This thing runs at 3.4 million a year. And I'm only transporting about a third. Well, okay, a little over a third of what I can possibly put on this train. Let's see if that's going to be making decent money at least. 566,000. That's not bad. The train, sorry, the grain is trying to actually get built up. He might be transporting a bit more, maybe 110 by the time that he gets there. And this one is going to have a little bit of food, but similarly not quite enough. Uh, how much... Yeah, this thing still needs to increase production a lot. There's 123 grain aboard. Okay, you still need to increase production a lot, buddy. Or I'm going to have to tie in another uh, farm. This one is really in a pretty poor position because I have to go across all the tracks. Uh, the other one could be from here. Ankara farm number two. I could use just tracks following the road and hopefully connect that on there as well. It's not exactly what I would call ideal, but it might do the trick. 43 foot, now we're getting somewhere. 
First food should be arriving momentarily. Yeah, the first food, or the first bread, or whatever you want to call it, has been delivered. Um, these trucks are currently running empty. As of right now. That's the Quezon City line. There's the tram, and here's the food line. Drops it off, throws it onto the passenger platform. Well, <laughs> no. Throws it onto the cargo platform. Truck comes by, picks it up. Loops back out of the tram depot. And across. Right. Uh, they're taking a bit of a weird, weird way. Um... I want to see if I can tune this a little bit. Now, this might be painful to watch, because I'm not great at that. Give me a waypoint. There. Alright, managed line. Uh, I want you to go from Upper Anchor right there, and then to here. Yeah. No, that's not making anything better. At all, because now it's just doing a big donut over there. A big loop. So that might actually be worse than it was. Another thing I can try is just to make this one exit slash entrance for the station. Because I'm not sure if it actually benefits from having two of them. Uh, something else that I could try is switching this to another terminal. Uh, they're just... <laughs> They're just making a bigger donut. Oh, hello. Suddenly a wild house appears. Alright, I want everybody out. Get out. Truck. Please. Out. Thank you. Stop. Uh, this one. I need to configure something. I need to remove this one, and that one, and that one, and that one. And I just want one. Really. One exit. Whoops. Sorry, truck. Life can be tough. Configure. One here, one there. Medium street. Uh, no and no. You're going to tie it in there, and you're going to go here. Preferably without destruction of property. And this one's going to go there. That's more like it. That's more like it. How about the trams? Uh, anchor tram north. Oh, shit. Could not connect all the stations. I have some unupgraded pieces of road here. Okay, one's going to the southern edge. One's going to the northern edge. Yeah, fine. Okay, how are those things doing money-wise, by the way? The Ankara trams. Ooh, not very good. The Ankara tram over here in the north is not what you would call popular. To put it bluntly. Hmm. I'm going to remove one vehicle from that line because two is just excessive. Maybe I can at least make it run break even at that point. Anyway, as I was talking, the first food has been delivered and we are now at 61 out of 109. Ankara has rocketed to 600. Look at that. This was in 1948. It is now 1955, and the town has almost tripled. That is some growth right there. Now, the bigger question is, where do they want to go? Because that is also going to be quite indicative of what I need to tie into. Surat? Really? Okay. See, now, 
now it has spiked my interest because this means that a line, and I mean a high-speed line between Ankara crossing the entire map and going all the way to Surat would be interesting. The question is, is this reciprocal? How many people want to go to Ankara? 71. Is that a lot? Uh, no. Not when compared to Quanzhou, for example, over here. 871, 956. Those are both capable of doing 100. 566. How big are my towns? Yeah, Surat and Quanzhou, definitely the biggest ones. Are there still enough services between those two towns? It seems like it. It seems like it. Gives you food. Yeah, this one's coming back. Quenzao is... Oh, you're not quite getting enough food there, buddy. You're getting about half of what you need. Um, Surat also requiring food. Ah, this is where all the food... No, this is where part of the food's going. I was looking at the fuel. This is where only part of it's going. Okay, uh, what am I missing? Because I'm not getting something. I'm not getting enough grain. That's it. Let's see, you were one of my older trains, both of you. You are... Uh, the China Railways JF1, which is something I cannot even afford or cannot even buy anymore. What I can buy is the Russian P36 at 125 kilometers an hour. I have big plans for this particular line, so I will add the bigger trains, or at least the bigger engines to it. And then for cargo, these are probably still running the old cargo uh, units. And I can now use the gondolas, which can do 120, which is still a little slower than the train. But I actually don't expect either train to make it to 125. Replace for 30 million. This thing can do 80, 85, almost 90 before it starts slowing down. Capacity was about a hundred. No, was about ninety-six, I think, and is now a hundred and twenty-six. And there is definitely enough grain over here, to put it mildly. Okay, so there is enough grain. Well, no, actually, there's not enough grain. Look at how fast we're chewing through that, in order to just output some food. Does that mean that this food line is no longer profitable? No, I wouldn't go that far. It is profitable, but it's capable of bringing way more food with it than is usually offered over here. I might need to get a third, just to keep everybody fed. And by everybody, I mean both the population and the food processing plant. And wow, 2.4 million. Nice. Uh, give me another one. All right, that's train five. Here we have train three, which is still making me a ton of money. Holy shit. Now, before I forget, let's upgrade these trains as well. Because they're still running around with the old ones as well, I think. Yep, the JF1s. Uh, just remove the whole train. And use the Russian P36. 125 capability... Cargo, tank cars. Uh, I'll stick to good capacity. Go. 31 million. Alright. That was quite a bit of investing this year. To the tune of 47 million last year and 31 million this year. It is only March, but I don't think I can recoup that much. I have faith in these trains, but <laughs> recouping that amount of money... Might be a little excessive. Let's see. This truck stop seems to be getting slightly overwhelmed. The food over here is still not getting enough to do a constant production. Who are you? 
Ah, you have the fuel line. There's a, well, actually an almost empty passenger line. Relative to what would normally be transported. That's curious. This might be a grain transport. Yep. Now we have 72 here. Hopefully we're going to get to 100, so I can still get Quanzhou to get a lot of food. Because if I can also get Quanzhou to about 1,000, that means that there's also going to be more demand for construction materials and goods. So I can also start tying those things in. Anyway, I'll do that next episode. This episode has been productive. We have food in Ankara. And uh, actually, we're providing almost everything that they need in Ankara, food-wise. We're providing them with transportation capability, both to Shenyang and to Quezon City. We get food running along here with the grain line, uh, which arguably is still making me no money at all. Nope, it's not making me money. That's unfortunate. Maybe I just have too many of these train cars. All right, well, I'll look into that in a different episode. For now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you soon for the next one.